Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this around. I want to welcome everybody here today. Are there any new people other than our speaker and musician? No. Okay. Uh, I know they got their red hearts because I put them in their hands myself. And we'll get to that in a momento. Can you get closer to the mic? Maybe. I get the mic closer to me. If you're new today at Unity of Bremerton, we welcome you in the spirit of love and we want you to know that no matter where you are in your journey of faith, you are always welcome here. We know that the world is a better place when we are all willing to share our hearts. We give you this heart as a symbol of the steadfast spirit that lives within each of us and we ask you to carry this symbol as a member of the Red Heart Fellowship. Let it be a reminder that love of God is always within you and to share your heart wherever you go. The red heart as a symbol of fellowship in the world can spread love one heart at a time. Let's start that movement here. And we hope that you will return and spend time with us. Unity happenings. On the 21st, oh, okay, I'm going to do a song first. <coughs> Everything I need, God is my 
January 21st, our guest speaker will be Joanna Gabriel. <clears throat> and on the 28th, we have Deborah Olive with Sally and Jamie singing and dancing. <laughs> okay, let's see. And yeah, we have a weekly board report. And that is Ann Miller. Ann Miller. Ann Miller. Took a break. Okay. <clears throat> so Ann Miller is our board member of the week and the usher. Our chaplain is Debbie Clay. And Nora is our 
Youth Champion. And our hospitality host is Mary Ellen and, and Ann Miller. And everybody is our spick and span angel, so just keep up after yourselves. Mark Swink is our technology director. And Susan Henderson, our office assistant. That person in the background that keeps things going. And, oh, I'm the platform. I'm Ron Savage. So, board member of the week. Thank you, Ron. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, um, the flowers to go certificates are still available. <clears throat> They're $25 for a certificate that gives <clears throat> keeps on giving all year. Get a certificate and you take it once a month to the florist and they give you a pretty little and God is good and usually supplies somebody for you to give it to. So <clears throat> every month I come up with somebody to give it to. We want to remind you that we are live, live <coughs> streaming our service and my voice is not so good this morning. We ask that you keep conversation down <clears throat> because it's being picked up, especially during the candle lighting and paper burning. Also, please be sure your cell phones are off or in vibrate. Unity of North Kitsap has a weekly meditation on Tuesday nights. Tuesday, January 16th at 7 p.m., when this blessing, join us as we gather in the Harmony Room with Rose Rydell and Bill Mullen. This is a beautiful and uplifting experience that does not require any particular belief. Come share your light with us on these dark and often rainy nights as our community draws together to support each other. Time and meditation is never wasted. That's true. We want to remind everyone that prayer request forms are available in the pocket of the seat in front of you. You can fill them out and place them in the prayer box here or put them in the offertory bag as they are passed around. The chaplains are also available to pray with you after service on Sundays. <clears throat> the men's group meeting was held on Saturday. The next one will be on Saturday, February 10th, from 9 a.m. to 11. A sign-up sheet is on the table in the fellowship area. Reverend Deborah Olive will speak to us on Sunday the 28th, January 28th. She will also be present for a two-hour meditation workshop starting at 12. A $20 <clears throat> suggested love offering is requested, but no one will be turned away. More details to follow via eBlast, Facebook, and in the Sunday bulletins. We will also post a flyer on the bulletin board. Our next board meeting is January 21st. The board will continue to update you weekly. If you have any questions or concerns, please see a board member. Thank you. back up to my level. I'll be lighting the Christ candle. This candle represents the divine light within each of us. with some people they're not as able to withstand good hugs as others so uh, what would you like hard <laughs> soft that's right I'll take this for being done Oh, 
you know, what, I know, because you, you know, it took me because you remind me of this other lady that I know. Right, you said this every time. Oh, it's always this kind of like this whole thing. Anyway, I appreciate it because I, I think you're the one who's not the instigator. Yeah, yeah, this is Patty. This is Patty. I love Patty. Thank you. Yeah, I watch your baby. Oh, it's really new. Yeah. Yes, I do. Thank you. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, 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 oh,
do I remember? I am guided by an inner light that I would not that would not have appeared if I had simply stood still and waited. God bless us. <laughs> because in sharing this, um, this song, um, it's off of our Voice of the Trees album, it's called Caterpillar and Butterfly, and, uh, and for those of you who um, have been part of Unity and 
you probably have heard the story by Eric Fetterworth where he talks about the, or he kind of gives you an um, example of, you know, where we come from through that story. And he goes on and he says, like, you know, when, when you see a caterpillar, you're not going to call it a butterfly. Right? And when you see a butterfly, you're not going to call it a caterpillar, and yet the butterfly is the higher expression. And I get to add on a little bit of my stuff, too, as the story gets bigger. But one day there's a little caterpillar, and he's scooching along. He's minding his own business and not minding being a caterpillar at all. And he looks up, and he sees this butterfly just flinting in the air. And the caterpillar says, you will never catch me in one of those contraptions. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't because it takes a consciousness for that to happen. And did you know that when the caterpillar goes into that consciousness, it gets a vibration throughout its body, and it knows from the intelligence within that it's time to go and gather the materials to create the chrysalis. Right? And it's only within the stillness and the darkness and the quietness of that cocoon where the magic is able to take place. And there's that saying that just when the caterpillar believed it was going to die, it became the butterfly. Right? And to me what that means, it means surrender. right? Letting go and allowing what is supposed to happen to happen. Right? And did you know that when it's time for that butterfly to come out of the cocoon, that it needs every single movement to push the cocoon off of its body in order to strengthen its wings to be able to fly. Right? And if I were to come upon that struggle, oh, you poor little butterfly, you, you can't do that by yourself. You need my help. Right? Oh, yeah, some of you know that, right? And I take and I pull the cocoon off of that butterfly's body. Did you know that that butterfly would fall to the ground and it would die? And it would lose the experience of butterfly. Right? So this is yours and my story. Right, somewhere along the line, right? The things I'm going to share with you today will kind of give you an idea of my caterpillar experience and moving into the, the butterfly experience. And yet, the beautiful part I love about this transformation is that you cannot be the butterfly without being the caterpillar. And that what I've learned and experienced in my life is that <laughs> everything that I experienced, even in my lower places, were necessary to become the woman that stands before you today. So I'm gonna play, we're gonna play the Caterpillar and Butterfly. This is my music partner, Bruce Witham. Um, all the music you're gonna be hearing on the albums, Bruce does an array of different um, instruments and um, he does the music part of that and I play my flutes and sing and he does backup vocals with me too. And so when I play this Caterpillar and Butterfly song, I play the lower part for the Caterpillar and the higher part for the Butterfly and then they become one. So, if we may, this is Caterpillar Butterfly.
see if I can check one too. So speaking of coming out of the dark into the light, this song is called Brand New Day. It's by Van Morrison. And uh, it's on the Gathering album. And uh, well, you know, after hearing my story and listening to the song, it speaks for itself. So if you may, this is Brand New Day. In the dark clouds were Yes, it feels like 
Send out your blessings. If you'd like, after we've done the offertory, come up, light a candle for you or your friend, and if you have something, use the paper in the fire. You can shed it. So.
board member and our chaplain come up, please? start with good news. Yesterday we had our first meeting of the men uh -huh. of Bremerton Unity mm -hmm. and I thought it was a good turnout considering it was the first one and you'll note out on the table there's a talking stick <laughs> and the talking stick is to stimulate and break the ice and if it gets a little heated you put it in front of the person who has permission to speak so that's what it's about we're going to leave it so everybody can use it and we'll be adding to it so any other good news yeah i don't need that just want to announce that there are cds in the fellowship area that rana has brought um nice big sign there i've already purchased my first two so please help yourselves that's a time of fellowship anyone else yes i can run As most of you know, I have two grandchildren that live with me. The oldest one is in the highly capable program in school. We used to call it gifted when I was in school. And his little brother is now in the process of being tested to be accepted into the same program. Being sit there just a little bit ahead. And I know they get that from me. <laughs> when the DNA kicks in. Yeah. Uh, okay. We also have uh, a bag that we take home and uh, we help with uh, food for the people who don't have. Uh, do I have someone who will volunteer to fill that? Thank you. Thank you very much. You do? Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, we'll get you one. On the way. Doesn't look like Laura's in here, so it doesn't look like we have children this week, other than sitting in the audience. And she was pretty quiet. She was good. So, let's start with. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin. Yeah. 